Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just here sitting in my car, just chilling. Um, just trying to fix my car, do whatever to it so she can run right. Um, I'm just here to say, you know, there's a lot of people out there who's just living rough, living wild. A lot of people, who, they just don't know which way to turn, who to trust. But I'm here to let you know, Proverbs 3 and 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. <clears throat> Amen. Praise God. A lot of us have trust issues. We trust in the things of the world. We trust in people. We trust in things. We trust in money. Sometimes your money could be funny, and you figuring out who you could trust in. Amen. Um, you go buy a sack of, of weed or or a sack of of, of something to sell slang in the neighborhood, so you could get ahead, so you could come up. And I'm here to let you know that that's not the way. Jesus is the way, and He is the truth. Amen. A lot of us looking for truth. You know, um, a lot of us, you know, trust in man so long that he's been lying to us so long that we just don't trust him anymore. And we're looking for something or somebody to trust in. A lot of people trust in money because you could buy cars, you could buy houses, you could buy shoes, you could buy clothes, you could buy food. Amen. But once when that money runs out, who are you trusting in? You know? If you're trusting in the things of the world, you're not trusting in God. You're trusting in the world. You're trusting in Satan. Amen. Satan is the small G-O-D of this world. Amen. And he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. And all that money that you have does not do. It doesn't. It don't mount up to nothing. All that. All that. Uh, the money that you have by selling drugs. Amen. Everybody always wants want what you have, but they don't want Jesus. Amen. They they want your brand new shoes. They want your brand new car. They want your brand new clothes that you bought. Amen. They want it all. Amen. Money don't last all the time. Amen. That money that you make in selling drugs is dirty. It's dirty money. You know, you're not getting it the smart way. You're not getting it honestly. You're getting it by scamming other people. You know, you're scamming people. It's like you're, you know, getting people high, you know. And after their high, high come down, after the dope is gone, you know, they have, don't have no more money left for, you know, or they're strung out on drugs or on alcohol, you know. But I'm here to let you know Jesus loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son, who is Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins. Amen. He loves you so much that he doesn't want he don't want to see you down and out. He don't want to see you strung out. He don't want to see you doped out, uh, being an alcoholic, being homeless, being nothing. You know, he don't want to see you down. He don't want to see the bad of you. Amen. He loves you so much that he's here to, to help you up, to clean you up, to to pick you up when you fall down, uh, to be there when nobody else is there for you. That's what he's there for. But a lot of us don't choose Christ Jesus. A lot of us believe in God, but only way you could get to God is through Jesus Christ. That's the only way you could get to God. So you could say, well, I, I, try, I believe in God. But my question to you is, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus? A lot of people are, no, nah, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe there is a God or I don't believe Jesus is the son of God. I don't believe that. A lot of people will say that to you, you know, but I'm here to let you know that Jesus is real. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Jesus is coming back. I'm here to let you know. Amen. And he is sitting on the right hand of the father. Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Amen. All the beatings he took, it was all for you. You know, um, people do you wrong. People spit on you, talk about you. Amen. Um, before Jesus, there was no way. There was no way out. 
Amen. If you would, if you was to die, you was going straight to hell. Period. Point blank. Amen. There was no passing go. There was not. There was no collecting two hundred dollars. Amen. But when Jesus came, Amen. He died. He took all that. He he conquered that. Amen. He he tasted hell for us. Amen. Hell is not meant for us. Hell was meant for Satan and his demons. Amen. We deserve life. Amen. Jesus gave us life and that more abundantly. We deserve heaven. Amen. We are not of this world. Amen. We are a king's kid. Amen. We we have a God that loves us so much. Amen. That he wrapped himself up in the flesh and became Jesus. Came to earth, died for our sins. Amen. And this was a plan that God had that Satan didn't have nothing to do about. He didn't have nothing. He didn't know nothing about it. Amen. All he knows is that he was killing the Son of God. Amen. That he was getting rid of Jesus. That's all he knew. Amen. But God's plan worked out perfectly. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us the wages of sin is death. So you, if you're out there smoking, drinking, doing wrong, stealing, cussing, dealing drugs, doing alcohol, amen, you're going to die and you're going to go to hell, amen, if you don't accept Jesus in your life, amen. I remember I was out there smoking, drinking, having fun, just partying, just doing it, just doing it, just, just being wild. Amen. Went to jail twice in my life. Amen. The first time I was like, oh yeah, you know, I could I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing, go and kick it and try to try it over again. Try to do what I went to jail for, trying to do it over again. Amen. But come to find out that what I I didn't know that I thought I knew wasn't right. Amen. It may be another, it may be, an, it might have been a plan that I didn't have before. And maybe it worked out a little bit better than the first plan that I had. But no, I still got in trouble. I still went to jail. Amen. This time, this last time I went to jail, I spent a, a, I spent a little bit more time. I had a little bit more time to think about what I did. Amen. Praise God. And when I was in there, I was like, man, I'm tired of this, you know. I'm, I got a son, to, I'm, I got a son to worry about, amen. What kind of father would I be if I'm up in jail, amen? What kind of role model would I be if I'm up in jail and my son is standing out talking about, oh, my daddy went to jail and I'm gonna be just like my daddy, amen. And, and I'm up in jail, he turned out to be just like me. Amen. I don't want to be. I don't want him being just like me. I want him to be. I want him to be better than me. Amen. I want him to to prosper better than me. Amen. And I'm. My job is to show him the way. Amen. But I just thank God. Amen. Because he loves me so much. Amen. That he made a way out for me. Amen. He showed me the door. Amen. And I took that way out. Amen. I just thank God for that. Praise God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Amen. If you want to see Jesus, you got to live right. Amen. This is for your glory. Praise God. Hallelujah.